Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it has been so long since I have filmed anything for YouTube. Um, it must be locked down, so two years ago um, since I actually sat down in front of a camera. Please excuse if I keep looking into the viewfinder as I'm just getting used to my new camera. But I thought the first thing that I would film for you all is an updated everyday natural makeup look. Um, there is one already on um, my channel but I have since found new products that I absolutely love. Um, so I thought that would probably be the best starting point for getting back into the swing of things on YouTube. So yeah, let's get into it. So at the moment my skin is really playing up. I have got so many hormonal breakouts on the chin area and a few on my forehead. But anyway, first thing I am going to start with, oh and let me just show you all what I am using for my makeup. This is a travel bag from a company called Leah Louise Accessories. Um, it is so handy. I'm going to take this away with me. Um, um, but all my makeup literally fits in here. It is so, so good. So I'm using that at the moment. So as always, the first thing I'm going to start with is my Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown. So I'm just going to take that on my hands and just rub that into the skin. So then I have been using this SPF 50 from the brand Ultra Sun, which is amazing. I absolutely love this. It has got a tint in it and I have got the shade Honey. Um, I'm not sure whether they do this in any other shades or whether it is just this one shade, but it is UVB and UVA um, protection. So it's super high protection, um, infrared A and blue light protection, and it's a daily tinting moisturizer. And it is actually really, really good. I've been loving this. So I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to take this all over my skin and I'm just using my hands for this. For my own makeup I do love using my hands um, and just really working the product into the skin. So that is all rubbed in. Now moving on to foundation, I have been absolutely loving, now let me find it, the new NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is amazing. Um, I've never used anything quite like it before. Um, this is in the shade Fiji and then for when I have a tan, which this one will be coming away with me, this is the shade Stromboli. It is honestly amazing. This was released not that long ago um, and it has been released as like more skincare. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. Um, and it just gives your skin such a lovely lovely glow so I apply this with my very old trusty Illamasqua buffing brush I absolutely love this brush um, and it's what I apply my foundation with all the time so I'm just going to take a couple of pumps of this just on the back of my hand and then I am going to dot it all over the skin this feels super light on the skin as well, which is why I absolutely love it. I don't like anything to feel too heavy on my skin. And then I will use a beauty blender just to press the product into the skin. I just really like to get the product onto the skin with a brush but for quickness. And then pushing the product into the skin with a beauty blender keeps it looking like skin rather than having like that product sat on top of your skin. So day to day I don't really wear that much makeup um, and I love my makeup just to feel really nice and light on my skin. I like it to feel really fresh, really dewy um, and this foundation does exactly that. Okay, so I'm then going to use the under eye corrector from Becca. This is in the shade light to medium and I just take this on my ring finger and I'm just going to press this under my eye just to get rid of any discoloration. Um, I have quite a lot of veins under my eyes that are quite prominent so this just takes that discoloration away. This is definitely how I would do my makeup for nighttime on holiday as well so if you are going away then this is a great tutorial for you to follow 
um, if you want your skin to look really nice and flawless and glowy and like hydrated and bronzy like that holiday glow but without feeling like you've got a lot on because we all know we hate that feeling of loads of foundation or loads of makeup on your skin when you are away in the heat. So that is now pressed into my under eyes um, and then just going to put a tiny bit of the hourglass concealer under my eyes. I literally use a tiny amount of this because it is quite a full concealer. Um, I'm just taking it down the centre of my nose onto my forehead and a tiny bit on my chin and then where I have got a couple of blemishes I am just going to dot it over those. So this is where I'm going to use my beauty blender. So I'm using a damp beauty blender and I'm just pushing the concealer into the skin and I'm just going over my eyelids as well. I'm then going to move on to a tiny little bit of contour. I don't really contour that much on myself, if I'm honest. But I do love the um, Charlotte Tilbury. This is the contour wand in fair to medium. So this is so handy just for putting a tiny bit of contour um, around the tops of your forehead and on the hollows of your cheekbones. It's so easy to blend, that's why I absolutely love it. And I would either blend it out with a brush or with a beauty blender. So I'm just gonna buff this into the skin with my foundation brush. So now that that is all blended out, I'm going to use one of the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wands. This is in the shade Peach Gasm. This is absolutely amazing. If you have this, you'll know how hooked you get with this product. It is beautiful. So I just apply a little bit on my cheeks, a little bit in the middle of my nose. And then I'm just going to blend that out. So you can instantly see the gorgeous glow that that gives your cheekbones. So that is all blended out and because of the glow that that actually gives, I don't wear a highlight. So I'm just going to set my contour and blusher with powdered contour and blush um, to make it last a lot longer. So for this, keeping with the Charlotte Tilbury theme, I am going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Bronzer. This is in the shade 2. I love this. So for this, I'm just going to use my big Chanel. I think this is the powder brush, yeah. Um, I got this years and years and years ago. It has lasted so, so well. Um, it's still really nice and fluffy. Um, so I just use this to give myself a real natural contour. So I'm just running this over my hairline and under my cheekbones in the hollows of my cheeks where I placed the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. We all love a good bit of bronzer. And then blusher that I absolutely love and use every single day without fail. It's the Laura Mercier Strawberry Blush and these are the blush colour infusions. It looks like this. It is gorgeous. It gives a really just nice little bit of blush to your cheeks. It actually looks like a flush from within, which I love. A little bit on my nose. So that is my skin pretty much done and that is all I will really ever wear on my skin. I do also love to use the It Cosmetics CC Cream um, but I've only got a darker shade in that and obviously I've got no tan on at the moment. Um, but I use shade medium in the It Cosmetics, I love that. Also been loving for underneath my foundation for a really nice glow, the Iconic London um, Radiance Booster in the shade shell glow that's amazing and i've got this mini by terry brightening cc serum this is in the shade sunny flash um but obviously this one's a lot darker so this will be great for when i've got a tan 
Um, so yeah, they're just other little bases that I love to use underneath my foundation for a glow. They're also great on their own. If you're not wearing foundation, I absolutely love putting those on. Um, just a little bit of brightener under my eyes and you're good to go. But now that skin is done, I'm going to move on to brows. Um, so for brows, I just really like to brush them up. Use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is a little mini one. Um, and I just brush them up to keep them in place. Really need to do my brows. They're desperate to be done. Um, but I'm going to do them on Saturday night, I think, before I go away. So yeah, please excuse the brows, they do need to be tamed. So I just brush them up and then I absolutely love the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in the shade 2.5 um, and I, I like just a really natural brow. So I just brush a few hair strokes through my brows just to give them a little bit of extra definition but nothing too much so that is brows done i like them just really nice and natural just realized i've not put my powder under my eyes so i am going to first take the ysl souffle de clair and this is in the shade 01 it's like a really nice pink shade um so i just put this under my eyes this is great for brightening so i'm just gonna just a tiny bit of this under and on top of my eyes. I then also go over the top with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. This is in the shade 2 Medium. Then, every day without fail, I always, always curl my lashes. I cannot leave the house without curling my lashes. It is an absolute must for me. So these are the Tweezerman Pro Lash Curlers. These are fab. They're the only lash curlers I've actually found that do the job and do it really well. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. You will see the difference, honestly. It is amazing. So lashes are curled and I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of mascara. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this on. And I do apply mascara to both top and bottom lashes. I know some people don't like having it on their bottom lashes, but I personally really like it. So let me know whether you are a top and bottom lash mascara gal or just a top i just think personally it really opens my eyes up having it on both and that is pretty much it the only thing that i would then day to day use is um the nars afterglow lip balm in the shade orgasm this is really really nice on your lips gives them a really nice little tint and a little bit of a glow but that and the um, Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb are probably the only two things that I will use day to day on my lips. I have got a new lip gloss to take on holiday with me from Lano Lips and it's an SPF. So I'm going to use that and I will let you all know what I think of that. But that is my everyday natural makeup routine. I hope you have all enjoyed watching. Thank you so, so much for watching if you have. And I will leave all links to the products that I've used in the description box. And yeah, I will see you in my next one.